Guys, welcome back to another video here on Nasha Vlogs. Uh, today, uh, at the time of recording on the 16th of June 2020, we had the announcement that Poulton's Park will be reopening on July the 4th alongside Fort Park and many other theme parks across the UK. But one thing we're going to be talking about in this video is uh, they've announced their plan uh, for when they do reopen next month. So we're going to be going through that plan uh, in this video. So um, I'm just going to be reading it off the bat quick, uh, what they've said. Uh, it's very similar to Merlin Entertainment's plan, so here we go. The responsibility that we have for the safety of our guests and staff has always been the park's cure values. As the park prepares to open following the COVID-19 lockdown, we will be introducing some new measures, procedures and protocols in line with the government advice to reduce the risk associated with the virus. These are summarised below to show what actions we have taken, some of which will be very apparent from the moment a guest arrives at the park, to some less so. Whilst we will do everything that is reasonably practical to protect our guests and staff, as it is with the case with all safety matters, everyone has a certain responsibility for their own actions. We therefore respectfully ask that guests adhere to the advice and procedures that we have put in place to ensure their safety. These actions have been taken to ensure guests have an enjoyable family fun day at Poulton Park in a safe environment. So the first bit we're going to talk about um, is before arrival. So uh, I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put my laptop there and I'm going to read them off the screen. So if I so if I keep moving out of frame, it's because I'm reading it. So first off, all visits must be pre-booked online for the day of visit. Until further notice, season ticket holders will also need to book pre-book a date for their visit. More information can be found at portlandspark.co.uk forward slash COVID info. Picnic bags and family hampers are also available to order online for collection on the day of a guest visit. Uh, for more details, please visit portlandspark.co.uk forward slash tickets forward slash hampers. So, um, just like Merlin Entertainments announced with their parks reopening, is uh, it's pre-book only. You can't turn up on the day. You will have to pre-book your visit, which is something uh, I think we're not shocked at, really. Uh, next, should a guest be displaying symptoms of COVID-19, including a high temperature, we would respectfully ask that they do not visit the park. Please be aware. Be uh, please be aware. A guest displaying a high temperature will be refused entry. If a guest has already pre-booked tickets, please contact guest services at Poulton's.co.uk. So just like with Merlin Entertainment, if you have, it's common sense. If you've got a high temperature or showing symptoms, don't turn up. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Uh, next one is before travelling to the park, please download the Poulton's Park official app or check the website and social media platforms to make sure you have the latest information available. Uh, so just like with Merlin Entertainment, make sure you check their social media and their website before traveling. Uh, next, on government advice, we do not uh, envisage that it will be necessary for guests to wear face coverings or masks to enter the park. But if there are any changes, we will update this information on their website. If guests wishes to wear a face covering, this is no problem, and these can be worn on our rides and attractions. So you don't have to wear a mask to get into the park, but if you want to, you can. Uh, next one, which is an interesting one, is Poulton's will be a cash-free environment, so make sure that you are able to make card or contactless payments for the day of your visit. So that means, yeah, everything's going to be card only. You cannot pay by cash, which is interesting because Merlin Entertainment have said, if you can only pay by cash, then that's fine. The so next section is on arrival. Number one, or first thing, is we will be operating a to a limited capacity to allow whatever social distancing is deemed necessary for the day visit. This will allow us to deliver the best possible guest experience in light of enhanced procedures we are operating within. So just like the Merlin Entertainment's capacity, I, I take it with Portland's their capacity is probably going to be cut by 50%, I reckon. But yeah, uh, next guest. For guests arriving in car by car, we will we will be parking vehicles in line with current social distancing guidelines. There is ample car parking to ensure that we are able to park your vehicle quickly and safely. Um, yeah. Um, 
Next, information regarding the changes in operation can be found on additional signage around the park and on our park app. Tickets can be downloaded to the park app for your convenience. Uh, next, a, a range of food and refreshment options are available to be pre-ordered via the park app and can be collected from select outlets at a time of your choosing. So food and drink, you will have to uh, pay for in advance and you can collect them when you arrive. Uh, please be aware that you may be asked to undergo an instant temperature check on arrival at the park or at any point during the day. Now, I know with Alton Towers, um, and I take it with Fort Park and Chesington as well, and Legoland, uh, you you will get temperature checked when you get in. Now, it'll be interesting to see if there's, you know, maybe, it'll be inter something interesting I'm interested to see is maybe if you go on a certain ride, you have to be temperature checked before going on the ride. I know it sounds crazy, but it depends what length uh, the park wants to go for. Next up is uh, social distancing measures. So the first bit, new measures have been put in place to assist guests with the compliance of social distancing requirements around the park. These include floor, floor marking and barriers for queue lines at rides, food and beverage outlets, and toilet facility to help families distance themselves from each other. Potent staff will monitor queues and ensure social distancing is maintained. We respectfully ask that guests follow our staff's advice at all times. So just like uh, Merlin Entertainment, some of their rides yeah, may have smaller capacities. Yeah. Uh, in restaurants, undercover seating and patio areas, seating arrangements have been altered to allow adequate space between families when appropriate additional seating areas have been configured in open spaces and garden areas. Uh, this is the same as Merlin Entertainment had said. Next up is seating plans have been developed to allow social distancing on our rides and attraction to minimise contact between families. Please follow the instructions of the ride operator and appropriate signage. Uh, so that may mean, uh, if you remember, let me let me give you an example. So, for example, uh, Velociraptor or Flight of the Pterosaur in Lost Kingdom, uh, there may be certain roads shut. Okay. Okay. Uh, next is a virtual queuing system has been developed for the official Portland Park app in order to reduce the time guests spend in queues and to assist with social distancing. Virtual queues will be available on selected rides around the park. Please ensure you downloaded our app prior to arrive at the park. So now you will have to sort sort of get a time slot to go on the ride, which uh, is interesting. Not gonna lie. Um, next is where necessary, we have introduced capacity limits to our indoor and undercover areas, including restaurants, shops, and guest information areas. These capacities have been designed to allow the appropriate social distancing to take place. Uh, and then continued. Social distancing is, unfortunately, it is not feasible to make the required social distancing adjustments to all our rides, to all our attractions and facilities. Therefore, indoor play areas, the show street, 4D cinema, and selected playgrounds will be closed. So, uh, this is something I think quite a few parks are going to be taking on in the case of 4D cinemas. So, for example, uh, the Angry Birds 4D cinema at Fort Park, I reckon that's going to be shut for the rest of the year. Uh, but it does say here, the closure of these attractions will be continually reviewed and revised as appropriate. Uh, and then next, to protect our staff and guests. Uh, to protect our staff and guests, those members of our team working in guest-facing areas such as behind counters and in our food and beverage outlets may be wearing face shields. So yeah. Uh, next up is hygiene and cleaning protocols. So, Portland's already has its first class levels in cleanliness and hygiene. In the light of COVID-19, we have enhanced our protocols to increase the amount of sanitization we do around the park. In particular, frequently used touch points such as counters, door handles, ride restraints, uh, wash basin, etc. In addition to our extensive hand washing facilities, located in our toilet and baby changing you know, so we have we have a number of hand sanitizer stations located around the park for the convenience of our guests. Uh, so yeah, this is very similar to what uh, Merlin Entertainment has put in as well. Next, the park has a specialist cleaning and sanitization equipment to deep clean and disinfect areas when and if required. For example, in the unlikely case that our guests 
along with the Parkinson's symptoms of COVID-19. In addition to face shield as stars. Uh, in addition to face, oh sorry, in addition to face shields, our staff will wear any PPE that is deemed necessary to protect themselves and our guests. This may include face covering, gloves, aprons for example. So, very similar to Marilyn Entertainment. Uh, the park has undertaken an extensive risk assessment process across all operating areas, which has led to the revised operating procedures we have put in place. In addition to ensure the effective implementation of these revisions, all staff all members of staff have undertaken specific training on the park's COVID-19 protection protocols and are continuously reviewed and revised as necessary. We have also reviewed all the operation of all our food and beverage outlets around the park and made various adjustments. These include the layout and flow of some of our restaurants and a refreshment kiosk and in the manner which food options are displayed and served. Cutlery and condiments will now be provided by staff with a with the guests order rather than being available to be collected by the guests. Whilst the partner team will do everything possible to provide a safe and clean environment for our guests to enjoy, we would respectively ask that guests adopt and uphold the highest possible levels of personal hygiene and respect for others as they would in their own homes. This includes regular hand washing and sometimes both their own and their children's hands or coughing or sneezing into a tissue or the crook of their elbow, as instructed by the government's guidelines. And then they've just finished it off by saying, the above is intended to provide an overview of the actions the park has taken to protect our staff and guests during these unprecedented times. We hope that these, along with Polton's existing and long-standing commitment to safety and quality, will give families the confidence and reassurance to visit for fun family day out. Uh, so yeah, that's Polton's plan, uh, very similar to uh, what Merlin Entertainment have introduced for their parks and attractions. Um, obviously, Polton's Park isn't opening their new area, Tornado Springs, until next year. So um, when we do make a trip down there, I'm sure we will try and film uh, a little bit of construction uh, for Tornado Springs. Anyway. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, comment below your thoughts. Let us know what you thought about this. What do you think about Pons' plan? Anyway, I've been Kim Nash. This has been another video on Nash Vlogs. And um, I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace out.